got a really exciting day today and for this episode you guys are gonna see me make my very first sourdough bread now it's gonna take a long time I'm gonna get started now and I'm gonna show you guys the process as we get along obviously you guys have seen me make no need bread before and I love doing that but this is the next level sourdough takes a lot longer like I said but it also tastes so much better and it's so much more uh, of a beautiful process in my opinion. So I just got my very first sourdough starter. I ordered it off Amazon from Breadtopia and I fed it. It's ready to go. Uh, I'm going to feed it again actually after I make this first batch because I want to keep making this pretty much a couple times this week while we have an oven here. So the reason why I love baking my own bread is because it's four ingredients and today instead of yeast we're using sourdough starter and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix warm water with sourdough starter and then I'm going to add salt and then I'm going to add flour so let's get started. rest for about 30 minutes before I start kind of working it and in the meantime I need to feed my starter again so that I can have more ready to go uh, tomorrow for another loaf if I choose so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my purified drinking water because a lot of tap water has chlorine in it and that can be really bad for the the active uh, I don't know chemistry that's happening inside the sourdough starter go quarter cup water Ooh. I'm gonna go one third cup flour just kind of rough measurements here. Flour. Boom. And now that sourdough starter is just going to feed on that flour. I think it might be time to transfer this to a jar that I just got. I'm going to use this jar to so I'm going to use this jar as my home for the starter and this works really well because in the van I can keep this in the refrigerator and when we find places with ovens or if I decide to use the van oven, which we will try that out, um, to make bread, I have my starter with me at all times. And you know, I hope to pass this down to uh, future generations of van cooks. <laughs> my grandmother, when I was growing up, had a hundred and something year old starter that she would show me and that was my first time ever seeing like what sourdough starter was and learning about it from her so that's a really fond memory i have and i'm always kicking myself these days now that i know how much i love baking that i didn't get that sourdough starter from her and maybe i'll ask her whatever happened to it and see if maybe it's still around maybe she still has it so and I'm gonna fold the dough in on itself and I'm gonna do this maybe three times over an hour and a half 30 minutes each time uh, just to I don't really know the reason why <laughs> but said to do it so I'm gonna do it has anybody in the van fam ever made sourdough let me know in the comments section what, what are your tips and tricks? I'd love to hear them and how did it turn out? Okay guys, final time. Stretching my dough. Here's what it looks like just to give you a heads up of... Oh, and look who we have here. Hello. Fresh from her workout. Kiss, kiss. Smash that like button. This smells yummy. 
Doesn't it smell? Oh, well, I don't smells, know if it smells yummy. Well, it smells like sour, you smell that, though, maybe. You smell that sour? That yeah. sour smell? That's really cool. Um, are you excited to eat my sourdough? Very. This is the first one. Um, so we've got, unfortunately, we're not going to be eating it for like another 30 hours. What? <laughs> yeah. Takes a long okay, time. Okay, that's why Dan's never but made sourdough before. It could be done faster, but I want it to be as airy and light and I guess fermented Perfect. as possible. Okay. We are actually going to Kelly's to use her basement as more of a storage than we thought because we're not going to need any of our biking and kiting and camping here. Yeah. Um, so we're going to go over there and unload that stuff and clean the van. I started yesterday. The kitchen's beautiful. Just need to vacuum the rest of it, put all the sheets back on, and then we'll start stocking it up. Ooh, we should fill up the water at Kelly's too. Let's do it. Yeah. So we'll take you with us. Okay, so I've got my nice round dough ball here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a dry towel. Can you hand me that dry towel right there? I'm going to find the warmest spot in the kitchen, maybe right over here. And I'm just going to let this rise, monitoring it here for the next six to eight to ten hours, like I said, so that it's increased at least 50% in size. I don't want to go double its size. I want to keep it below that, so anywhere from 50 to 75% its size. So somewhere in that range, I think. We'll just eyeball it, but and maybe not that towel. How about this towel? This looks like a cool baker's color. Little red and white stripes. see our short, our first short on YouTube where I pranked Allie, took a fake fall. <laughs> that wasn't funny, Dan. Uh, well, it was funny, but it was probably not appropriate. Just do wait, I'm gonna get you back. No. Okay, so yesterday I started cleaning the van and the door, we left the door open and a bird crapped right. No way. There. Oh my god. <laughs> That's wild to me. sticker just wasn't really what we wanted we're gonna have to get a new one it I looks, like it better without I, I like think, it better uh, without too but I if mean, we had a, a die cut proper one that was not so big yeah. and bold might be we'll better. work on getting one of those okay let's get to work okay guys we don't need any of this stuff for our East Coast trip so we are going to take it out and by the snap of my fingers I'm gonna show you how quickly I can do that Ta-da! all right so now that we've got everything cleaned out or cleared out, we can clean it out, tidy up the rest of the van, and head back over to the other house so we can start putting it back together. Scene. We started making little TikToks and shorts, and Dan pranked me so hard by pretending to fall. And now I'm gonna prank him by taking his crutches away from him. Hello? <laughs> Dan. Hello? Dan. 
and just has all these scratches. I can't get the strength. Babe? Yeah? Did you take my crutches? They're missing. Sorry? My crutches. I'm stuck. What's going on? I don't have my crutches. They're missing. Well, where'd you put them? I thought I put them right next to me. Huh. Weird. Are you doing this for the vlog? Is this something funny with the van fan that you guys got together on? <laughs> fair play, fair play. Why, why would you ever do that to me? Because you pranked me yesterday and I didn't think it was very fair. It was a mean prank. Darn straight it was. <laughs> a lot of comments from people on the prank that I pulled on Allie that it was not cool and I agree with you guys, it was not cool. And it was a one-time thing. So let me just hobble back over here and get back to work. Due to my injury, I've had a lot of extra free time on my computer and I've been using Skillshare every single day. And they're the sponsor of today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes and members across 150 countries. I think I'm officially in my favorite Skillshare class at the moment. I'm currently taking YouTube Success Script, Shoot, and Edit with MKBHD by Marquise Brownlee. Ali and I were both really interested in joining Skillshare so we could increase the quality of the episodes that we put out here on YouTube. We've realized that by learning how to shoot more creative shots and edit our videos better, that we're gonna create more enjoyable episodes for you guys, and that's exactly the value that Skillshare has added to our life. With Skillshare, you can invest valuable time in exploring new skills. It's entirely ad-free, and they bring new classes to the platform every single week. If you're into photography or illustrations to graphic design and freelancing, you can find exactly what you're looking for right on the Skillshare platform. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the video description below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare, and that's plenty of time for you to find something awesome to learn. Now let's get back to today's video. Much better. A few things to put in there, but clean van is so lovely. We're really excited to share with you guys an upcoming unboxing that we're going to do, not in this episode, but in a in a very soon episode, because it's going to be one of the key things we have in the back here, along with the sweet dryer you guys saw in the last episode. A lot of people were really thought that was cool, so I'm glad you guys I'm glad you guys liked that because we thought it was really cool too. But we have an even cooler product, I, dare I say cooler. I, I will say it's a cooler product, um, literally and figuratively. So that's all the hint I'm gonna give you on the next unboxing on the Allie and Dan channel. We always have fun with you guys. So we are packed up and I think it's time for us to, to move on, lunch. move on to the next task. Okay guys, we have really exciting news. Um, something we've always wanted to do, babe, fill us in. What are we looking at and why is it so important? Y'all, we're taking the coffee machine into Helen. And I'm very, very excited about it. Uh, lattes on the go, anybody? <laughs> everybody, everybody needs We're gonna it. have to use our power station to run it along no, with- I don't think so. Oh, well, we'll but have to we'll test see. it out we'll once see. we're on the road. We might end up putting in new batteries into um, the van once we get to Michigan. We need to basically bring some of this stuff inside and then we need to go check on the sourdough because I cannot stop thinking about that fermentation process that's happening right now. And hopefully it's risen a good amount. We had it up in the warmest part of the house. So that's what we're after. Let's check it out.
right, it's been eight hours. I'm really, really happy with what we've got here. The dough has turned out to be about 60% its size, so which is I was looking for 50 to 75% expansion, which is what we got. Now I'm just gonna kind of shape it. I'm gonna fold the, set, the edges into the center. I'm gonna turn, fold the edges into the center and keep rotating this and doing this process. And then I'm gonna to start to just move the dough around, create push and pull kind of tension on the dough, just kind of move it into a circular shape and then drop it back into the bowl for 30 minutes while I get my proofing pan set up, my proofing bowl set up. And since I don't have an actual bread basket and all that stuff, I'm going to use some rice flour with a towel and just a regular bowl. So let's get that. So I think I'm gonna use this bowl. I think this is the best option I could find. And I'm gonna use my bumblebee towel here. This is another best option I could find. Fold it over, okay, that should work. Maybe we'll go bumblebees out. Now, we're just gonna lightly dust this towel with rice flour, and the rice flour is used because it won't burn eventually when we put it in the oven at a high heat, like 450 degrees. So it'll be, um, it'll be a lot, uh, you know, there will be less crispness, I guess, or I don't really know why, but you can definitely feel a difference in this flour compared to regular all-purpose. So we'll just dust that lightly, maybe a tiny bit more around the top edges. And that looks pretty good. day two and I honestly don't know what to make of this sourdough I followed the recipe to a T and I just scored it so I hope you guys are along for this ride with me now the dough it's different than any dough I've ever worked with because it's it's been refrigerated it's kind of got a rough exterior but I scored it so we're gonna put it in the oven now 450 for 20, uh, for 30 minutes covered in a cast iron, or actually a more of a Dutch oven. And then I'm gonna take the cover off for 20, 20 to 25 minutes and bake it and finish it off. So within an hour vlog, we are going to have our first fully baked loaf of sourdough. That's literally, I started this yesterday morning, so it's been in the works for 36 hours now. So I'm really excited, babe. Let's get Allie's reaction. It's kind of been a long process. Mm -hmm. Been waiting very patiently for you to finish. You've helped out? No. Yeah, you have. I what? went and got the pan for you. What have you done with the dough? Oh, well, I've moved the dough around to different spots in the house to make sure that it's just the right temperature. My, my sous chef doesn't like to take credit for what she's done, but um, she's done a lot. Because if the dough is not in the, the right temperature when it's doing its first rise, babe, mm -hmm. it takes a lot longer and it doesn't have the same effect. So um, that was really huge. We had it upstairs, hot air rises. That's some science for you guys. So let's pick you guys back up when we are ready to see the sourdough loaf in its final version. <laughs> so Dan's just put the bread in the oven. He's over here cleaning dishes like a good boy, but I have to show you like what he looks like. 
There's nobody else in the world that wears their pants so high that it goes up their butt like that. That's not true. No, I think it is true. There's a, no. This Little is a normal, me. this is a normal look. Guys, what do you think of this look? It's not, okay, maybe it's a little high. <laughs> maybe it's a little high, but this is what's comfortable to me. It's above my hip bones. This is what's comfortable to me. Yeah, but that's only half of it because Dan cut his hair the other day, turn around, and has a straight line. Oh, it's not as easy to tell, but it has a straight line across the back of his head. <laughs> I think sometime soon you're gonna get a little surprise with my hair. Let's put it that way. The Van Fam's gonna see. Guys, make sure you're watching our shorts videos coming up because I am gonna get Allie so good. I've already got it planned out, so stay tuned. Guys, I'm gonna cut my hair. I hope you think this is okay, but like to here. What do you think? Shoulder height. I think shoulder height. Oh, Not well, that. we'll see. Not that short. How height. short do you think I should get it cut? Leave a I gotta comment, get it guys. cut. Leave a comment, what do you think? She's, I think shoulder height is perfect. That's like four inches. That's like six inches. Well, for curly hair, that's like a million inches, but yeah. We've been spending so much time in this backyard area because it's fenced in, the dogs can run around, and it's so beautiful, the landscaping that they've done, plus the Gorgeous. view. yeah. What do you like about it? It's just perfect. It's a nice, quiet little space. Going into summer, too, I mean, the weather has just been, like, slowly getting nicer and... It's warm, but not too hot. Yeah, yeah, it's been perfect. So this has been really good for us. As we get ready to hit the road again, this is like kind of a nice reminder of someday, I think something like this could be in our future. Okay guys, first 30 minutes is done. Ooh, that's a hot oven. Oh, let's see what this looks like. Whoa. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Whoa, now we go. I'm gonna take it down to 400. I'm gonna let some heat out of the oven. Oh, whoa, whoa, she's a beauty. <laughs> That's a good looking loaf. Okay, so we're going back in for 20 minutes uncovered at 400 degrees. I'm gonna rotate that baby. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay. The okay. time is now. The time is now, guys. I've just got the alarm going off, so it's been exactly the time we need. Maybe I'll need to leave it in for a few more minutes longer once we see it, but this is the big reveal, the first ever sourdough on the channel after an eight hour rise, first rise, and then a 24 hour refrigeration fermentation process. So they had come on in tight. Ooh, doggy. I might go back in for another little while longer. That crust though. Let's go back in for a little Ooh, while longer. Are you longer. sure? Yeah. Okay guys, the bread is out and I must say it looks better than I could have anticipated. Look at that, all that sourdough webbing in there. I've got that sourdough smell. I'm so excited compared to the no need, babe. This is gonna be next level. Look at this lip right here, that crust. Wow. I'd like to see what the center looks like. I was hoping for a little bit more 
airiness to this. So, Allie and I have different definitions on what a little bit of butter looks like. Okay, babe, you ready for first bite, first live react? I want you to eat it. I don't want it. butter. Wait, then have a bite of that side. Come on, first bite, big bite. Mmm. Honest review. What do you think? Mmm. It's really good. You try it now. Okay, I'm gonna go for the other end because that's a really crusty. It's really good. It's ten. It's much better than the no need bread. Worth the wait. The crust is perfect. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to tame the beast over here, the sourdough bread beast. But leave me a comment, guys. What did you think of my process? What can I do better? If you want this recipe, it's in the description below. We're gonna see you guys in a very, very short amount of time on our next episode. We've got a really special episode coming with an unboxing that you're gonna to wanna to see. It's gonna be a game changer. So make sure to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and please smash that like button. We wanna say a special thank you to our Patreons, guys. Behind the scenes content available on Patreon, babe. We love being able to chat with you guys on Patreon, and we just wanted to thank you all for being there. We appreciate yep. you so much. We'll see you guys real soon. Adios. Bye -bye.